Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Not For A Broadcast Overview. It seems like it's been a while since we had like a purely comedy based game. I guess it's also because if that aspect fails, then there's like nothing left of the gameplay. So the devs just need to make sure that their humor comes across for every audience out there. Which nowadays I don't think it's something that easy to accomplish, but when you do, well, that's just a success. So Not For Broadcast is a news television simulator game where being in the control seat behind the newscasting system, we get to manipulate the transmissions however it pleases us and continue the national nightly news no matter what's going on. It's gonna be very hard to judge this project based on the trailer since everything seems very simple and straightforward on the first glance, giving similar vibes like the job simulator -ish gameplay. What's gonna be interesting is gonna be the mechanics behind the screens since we'll be able to control the overall narrative if it's with the censoring or different camera angles I guess you're some sort of a youtuber for a televised network it also somehow feels I expect you to die ish because we need to keep the transmission going and I wonder how many storylines we can spin through our actions like it's very fun being in control of things but the real judgment of the game is gonna be its content the graphics seem adequate I don't really expect anything less or more than that let's just hope it's gonna be funny because at the end of the day that's what it's trying to do here <laughs> let's go to the gameplay hi David I have a call for you I'm just putting it through all right mate Dave here listen uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place but I've got a bit caught up so uh gonna have to run the news tonight. Now don't worry, it's not hard and I'm gonna stay on the phone and help you. First I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the broadcast room so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top, that coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain... Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. First of all, I don't know if that's gonna front footage. There are some huge frame rate issues. Like when I'm turning, the screen is just completely skipping. Like, I don't know if this port is just wonky as fuck or like, I like it. It's so bad, but let's keep going for now. You don't see if you make it go out in pasture. Yeah. Thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Oh, going in five, four. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be the throw of the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. 
Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hansen okay. wins sports personality. Guess I have to talk over huh? sometimes. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence von der Klatsch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic... Right. Three, two, one. Lovely, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. Okay. It is kind of stressful though, like being here in the studio and controlling stuff. Here it comes, switch to screen one, now! Lovely mate! The votes are in and it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time mate. Keep your eye on that machine at the bottom right and use the slider that's flashing there to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to advances overwhelming I see. but have yet to appear publicly. However, former Home Secretary... Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. To hear the co-leader's acceptance speech. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh, I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. That's all right, he doesn't remember anything I tell him. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Mm, good. No. Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multi-cam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long, ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. We're coming back from the break. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. Maybe I'll apply those rules to my videos. <laughs> Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first Get ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment... Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yes. Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. He's a wonderful chap, he really is. Lovely, now back to Thunder Twat. Several <laughs> movies, all terribly <laughs> successful. I said to Peter, <laughs> what a wow! It's kind of fun. Been. What a wow. And do you know what, Megan? This has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? 
But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role. I think I'm doing fine. When I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. A love, of course. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take... I'm too conscious of the, about the campaign than to listen to them. Others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Mm. What is it that, drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, afraid. and I will Cut. bleed. And, and often, bleed. that's how it feels, often. doesn't it? That's how it doesn't feels. it? Bleeding. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> like suffering for one's audience. Suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it I makes. In the end, I do it. I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people. The little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Oh, well, don't worry, you won't do it again. She did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Medicated, which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. I barely know what's going on with the storyline, like... Chubbly, mate! See you, baby. Next, we're gonna change the amplitude. Same as last time, but this time, move the joystick up. Oh, oh, oh. Try and keep in time with the warm guides. But I didn't listen. Doctor. I should know that because I have a diploma in electronics. Right, now let's match it back by going downwards. This phone there, this phone there, this, this is the key. I can stop it all. Yes. Not bad, you'll get it with practice. We have to ask ourselves. We have to ask ourselves. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count you in. What's going on? Right. Right, I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As you probably notice, the broadcast screen, here, is about two seconds behind the master screen, here. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up, like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the sensor button for as long as the swear word lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you've got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over the red line. Simple. Of course, if you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. 
As you turn it up, you'll hear the advert getting louder. Good. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it, and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. And now I'm bringing my message directly to you with my new nationwide tour, Alan James is right. Remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live, that's too late. You can use the visual mixing buttons on the left to select the screen you want. Seriously, we've had worse. Five, four, three. Such a hard job. I mean this. <laughs> Wait. Cut to the outside broadcast. Oh shit, he's pissed. Get ready to bleep. <laughs> What's going on? I showed too much footage that was not for broadcast. Oh, I didn't even notice that I have to do something. I mean, it's time to finish anyway, so that's a right moment to do it. I thought I'd be more confused or just bothered by multiple broadcasts just attacking me at once and just controlling the stuff here. This is not as easy as it seems, like you have to be in control of everything here. And a professional studio has way more stuff for sure. <laughs> it seems very interesting though I would need to like be very well trained in splitting my attention between just this panel and what's going on here. And I don't know if that's gonna be very convenient for like the playful purposes. Cause introducing talking like as a third active thing going on in video. I don't see myself doing that. So far there's not much happening because this is all like tutorial based but it seems fun. It keeps you busy, like you don't even notice how the time flies by here. Not much comedy currently, I suppose it's just because this section is like that. But it is intriguing and the quality of the videos, despite having like 15 gigabytes of install size, they're fine, like they're not bothering me at all. I can clearly see stuff with the subtitles or not. Though I feel they will help in a long run because of just multiple voices going on. I'm not totally sure if you'll do anything else with this because it is like a heavily engaged gameplay that I don't think it's good for the footage purposes. But I'm very much curious about what's gonna happen and maybe I'll do it in my spare time or not. Overall, it's solid.